What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles the YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and we're covering the deck that won Dallas Regionals, which is the Mega Gardevoir deck. Now, all of a sudden, sudden, sudden nowhere, Mega Gardevoir became a really good deck, and I'm still trying to figure out. Like, what happened between Dallas and Fort Wayne? Uh, did they figure out how to make Mega Gardevoir work? Was Evatol just not played as much? Uh, because every time I talk to an Evatol player, they're always like, Oh, Evatol destroys Mega Gardevoir, even though they hit for resistance. Um, so it's a very in interesting list. Um, I think it's slowly going to become a staple, though, and you'll see why here in a second. Now, I know we covered Mega Gardevoir be before, but this list is totally different, it's, uh, and I promise, you'll see why here in a second. So, we know Mega Gardevoir, right? Despair Ray, 110, discard as many bench Pokemon as you like. This deck does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discard it in this way. So you could do, like, uh, 190 max if you discard all 8 Pokemon with the Skyfield out in the field. Now we play uh, the Guard of War with the Link Blast and Lumius Blade. Doesn't really matter too much. I think this one is, I mean, it's probably the better one. I don't know. Um, Link Blast seems good. Just hit it for 100 for 2 energy seems pretty nice. Uh, but we play the 2 Hoopa for Scoundering. Search for 3 EX Pokemon. Really good. Uh, so we're going to fill our bench up. We have 4 Shaman. Yeah, and, there's, and you're probably going to be like, I only have 3 or 2 Shaman. Can I play it? Maybe, maybe, but you need the four shaman. You need to set up. You need to go as fast as you can, and that's why that he did play the uh, four shaman. Two dragonite uh, for the ability pull up. When you play a Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put two base Pokemon except for dragonite ex from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, with this, you can really get Hoopa, shamans, guardies, whatever you need, and you can get Ratatad, Hawlucha, and this is what makes the deck totally like insane now. Hawlucha has the ability Sudden Cyclone. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon. Now, you don't get to choose. But your opponent does. You might be like, why is that such a big deal? Well, let's say you're playing against Eva to all, and they have a Fright Knight in the act spot. Well, then you can use Hawlucha, Sudden Cyclone, and make them send up an EX Pokemon. And this goes with anybody. If they're talking with a non-EX, and there's an EX on the bench, you can set a Cyclone, make them switch to the act spot, and take a knockout. Now, some people, what they might be worried about is you only discard 8 Pokemon. So the max you could do is 190, right? Uh, so if you play against an EX deck, not Megas, not uh, Primals or anything like that, but regular EXs, and they have a Fighting Fear Belt, you can play with Raditza. <laughs> Raditza has the ability Mischievous Fang. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's act Pokemon, which can get rid of Fighting Fear Belt, which we know almost every single deck that doesn't play Megas plays, like Evotol, Volcanion, which are the two main ones. I guess Greninja doesn't. Um... Zerny Break plays that uh, Fighting Free Build, uh, Snow Pancakes does. But yeah, this mischievous thing is going to help you out, help you out a lot against Volcanion and Evatol to bring their HP down from 220, 210 to 180, 170. And then you can despair raid them for a knockout, which is fantastic. And like I said, you can just then you can discard the Raditzal, Halucha, whatever, uh, into your discard pile. Then reuse them again with Dragonite if you put it back down. And that's what makes the deck so strong. And if you don't believe me, watch the video and you'll see that for sure. So you're going to notice the deck doesn't play no Float Stones. Because you're just going to Disparate Ray your Pokemon that you're going to discard anyway. So they're not going to be on your bench. But you play two Escape Rope. Your opponent switches their active one, their bench Pokemon. Once again, if they're attacking with a non EX Pokemon, you're going to make them switch out and you're going to take a knockout that way. And the interesting thing about this list <coughs> is it plays three Fairy Drop. Heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any Fairy Energy attached to it, which I think it did help swing the uh, Eon's Hall matchup. Because Fright Knight could do 60 to your active, 60 to a bench. But then you can fairy drop it and make it where it basically did zero because it did 60 minus 20, 40, and then fairy drop made it do zero. So fairy drop is a really, really good card to help out against your Evatol matchup, which is mainly it. Um, I mean, it probably helps you out in some other ways, but mainly it's for Evatol. Three Mega Turbo for our Mega Gardevoirs, of course. One Super Rod to show back in three combination of Pokemon and energies. Uh, you, most part, you want to shuffle back in like Dragonites, because uh, Dragonite, uh, Dragonites, and like other Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> whenever I play this deck, the Pokemon I want to keep in the discard pile is Hawlucha, Rattata, and Hoopa. I want to shuffle everything else back in there because what you could do is any moment you could put down Dragonite, grab the Hoopa, grab any X, 
or you can Dragonite for Hawlucha and Rattata. So if you put a Pokemon back into your deck, I definitely recommend putting back in Dragonites and Shamans and Gardevoirs, but don't put back Hoopas, Rattatas, and Hawluchos, so that way you can reuse them easier and get the full effect out of them. Uh, one switch, just in case you want to keep that Pokemon in the Axe spot, but you need to switch out. Three trade as well, four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker, uh, three trade as well for space, of course. One Brock's Grit, uh, shuffle six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy guards from your Discord pile back into your deck, which is fantastic, mainly to get back those energies. You only play seven, you could discard a bunch, but then Brock can help you out to recover those energies back. One Hex Maniac, which I wish the list played two, because that can help you out a little bit more against Volcanion. Uh, Volcanion can easily knock out a, a Mega Guardi, but then you can knock them back, back out, and then they have to recover another uh, Volcanion. And the matchup becomes very strange. Uh, two Lysander, two in, and three Sycamore. No four supporter cards, because we do play the four Shame and EX. Three Skyfield, which, oh man, I thought, I thought in the video, I'm pretty sure I said we played four, but only played the three. So you need to be very careful and not actually accidentally discard a Skyfield early. Uh, four Guardian Spear Link and seven Fairy Energy. And like I said, this list won Dallas Regionals. I think every list that was in top eight that played Guardian was like two or three cards off. So uh, obviously it's a really good deck. I think it was like three in top eight if I remember correctly. Maybe four. It was a... Uh, there was no... Uh, Mm, Dalen, Xander, and Connor. So that's four of the eight, I'm pretty sure, played a very similar close list uh, for Mega Gardevoir. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and you're going to see why this deck's so strong here in a second, I promise. This is a really good game. But thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so we're going to Matterhorn 22, playing a Psychic, Water, and a Colorist stack. Um, Gyarados, maybe? Uh, no, Grenin maybe No, not Greninja. What's Psychic and Greninja? Nothing. So we're going to go first. Water Toolbox with Reg Ice, maybe? We'll get a Mulligan. Okay. Reg Ice would actually be really bad because we don't... Well, I mean, we play Halucha and, like, stuff to get around it, but we don't play Ranger to actually negate that Reg Ice. So press done. And get a new hand of seven. All right. Uh, Halucha, Shaman. Oh, this hand is pretty bad. No, 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 no. We'll start Halucha. I think it's a better one for sure. We'll press done. <clears throat> Maybe, hopefully, we just start like an Ultra Ball. Uh, discard like Axeman. Oh, oh, there it is. There is good old Reg Ice. His hand is terrible. All right. So we can cry. That's, that's a good answer. We'll put down Dragonite. We will uh, Escape Rope. Shaman set up for two. I'm looking for an Ultra Ball for Hoopa. There we go. So Ultra Ball discard one and two to grab a Hoopa. Come on down, Mr. Hoopa. Uh, we have the escape rope and is a switch in here. Nope, just the one escape rope. All right, so grab the, the Hoopa. We will Scoundering for two Pokemon, which are going to be Guardy and a Shaman, unfortunately. Well, we have two Guardy surprised. Whoa. All right, that's the bad thing of playing three Guardies is you could price two. Uh, let's put down Guardy, link it, uh, and we'll Shaman set up for four. Looking for an in. Uh, hopefully, don't worry, we're going to play a Sycamore right now. There we go. Um, we're just going to play the in. Really don't need to put down a Skyfield or anything. Just want to hold on to it right now. There's a Fair to G, a Mega in our hand, so next turn we could potentially get the knockout. So... We'll put a fairy energy down and we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. Now next turn we can put down the Mega Guardi. Uh play a Mega Turbo or an energy and take a knockout. We only need to discard one Pokemon, so it's not too hard to do that. So a, a Glaceon coming down. That's good. That's good. That's for evolutions, which Mega Guardi's an evolution, so that's good. That's a good thing. Um I mean if he puts the energy on the bench, we could Potentially escape rope to that Glaceon. So it flows down to the active. Max Elixir. I hope he gets a turn one. There's a water energy that guy. Okay, please get a turn one. Please get the turn one. Uh, Chris Ray. <laughs> Alright, so uh, DC on that Glaceon. Oh man, this is going to make things very difficult for us. Uh, Parallel City. We got this card three, uh, down to three. We're just going to Lucha. And the Shaman. Okay. 
Um, the reason I discard the Halucha, we can use the Halucha to switch out the active if we found a Dragonite. And then we can life center back up, take a knockout. There's a Mega Guardi. Me okay, there's an escape rope, but uh, nothing else just yet. Okay, so a Trista Glaceon. We'll see a knockout, but we can... Okay, he puts down to the uh, Reg Ice, which is fine with me. So we can knock out two Pokemon so far. A uh, Max Luxor. <clears throat> I mean, if we top deck an Ultra Ball and somehow knock out this Glaceon, that'd be crazy. Uh, so why did you do the Regice? We'll see a Crystal Ray for 70, making it where Evolutions cannot hurt it. Alright, so there's an N. I'll put down Mega Guardi. We will Escape Rope. I'll probably send the Regice with the one flo just a Floatstone. Most likely. Like, why would you not? Alright, we'll send the Mega Guardi. We'll Mega Turbo <coughs> to the active, and then we'll play an N. Uh, okay, so let's see what new cards we get. There's a Fairy G. Uh, da -da -da. All right, so we can Despair for the knockout, discarding just a Dragonite. I have to sneeze, guys. Okay, maybe I don't. All right, so we discard the Hoopa. Um, do I discard all three? Now I'm going to discard 1 and 2. We'll press down. We'll just discard those two guys. I do it 130. Taking a knockout going out of 5 prize cards. Hopefully find a... Uh, okay, there's a Guardian, which is great. Uh, we need those for sure. So, Glaceon coming up. Now, we could find, we can use Halucha next turn to knock out this Red Ice, which is great. But, if we could somehow... <sighs> knock out the Glaceon. All we, we need to discard 6 Pokemon, which is not, it's not crazy hard to do. Uh, the first thing is we need to find a Skyfield to bump that Parallel City. That is what's hurting us right now. But we can't Dragonite for... Oh, there's another Glaceon coming down. So that's five prize cards on the field. And see, if my opponent, just like, if they had not put down any Pokemon, we, we would easily lose this. We had no way to counter this. I guess we could tackle, like, the regular Guard for and use, like, Lumius Blade. Or, uh... Link Blast, if we wanted to. Um, but there's 50 damage onto our turn. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. How do we want to do this? So I'm going to put down Dragonite. I'm going to use... Yes, I'm going to use this ability. I'm going to grab a Hall Lucha. And a Hoopa. Okay. We'll put down the Hall Lucha. Yes. Let's see who that. I mean, if we, if, we, if we find a Skyfield, we can potentially take a knock on whoever he sends up. Uh, he's going to send the Glaceon, and we're going to Via Seeker for an N. Uh, please find me a Skyfield and a Hoopa. If we do that, we can take a knock on on this Glaceon. Uh, yes, I'm fine with this. I know we get less cards. That's okay, Pokemon. Thank you for your concern. And okay, we got a Trainer's Mill. Can we hit a Skyfield off this or not? Skyfield? No, we don't get it. We do find a Fairy Drop, so we can heal that damage off the active, which is fantastic. But our hand is uh, so bad right now. So, let's see. Uh, we get... Okay. I might do something crazy. I'm going to put... No, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Mm. I'm going to put a Fairy Drop on Dragonite, and then I'm going to Despair Ray... For 120. So I'm gonna discard these two. Okay. Uh next turn 130, sorry. Next turn we can't bring up the Glaceon, take a knock on it. So I'll try our opponent's turn. Luckily the fairy drops are just kind of countering his uh resistant blizzard and uh, crystal ray whoever's setting up. There's a DCT active. A rough seas coming down. Okay. Now rough seas coming down is fantastic. Uh we find a, a if we find uh oh, we don't have another Dragonite, so that's unfortunate. But we can maybe a life center take a knockout this turn, which would be great. Uh, there's a Trubbish coming. Oh, Garboder would be terrible. So I think my option right now is to definitely a life center this Garboder for the knockout. Uh, let's see. We can also take a knock on the Glaceon with the Dragonite. So there is a uh, 70 damage coming down onto our turn. We'll get a Trainer's Mill. We'll Trainer's Mill look at top cards of our deck. Um. We'll grab an Oat Ball, but not play it just yet, obviously. We'll put a Fairy to Geo in the Dragonite, put down Radita, uh, play Shame, and set up for five new cards. Let's see, what do we find? 
There's a Lysander. So we're going to Lysander bring up this Trubbish. I think this is the, uh, the more annoying thing for sure. We will Super Run. Uh, we'll play seven fairies. Three, four, five. But they, I think it's fine. We're going to Ultra Ball discard one and two. To grab a Shaman. We will Super Rod back in one. No, we're going to Super Rod put these three back in. Okay. Oh, we also have pretty Block Script, so we're fine. We'll Shaman set our five. Okay. Yes. Let's see. What do we find? There's Skyfield, Ultra Ball. So I'm going to put down. You know what I do? I think I'm just going to hold on to my hand right now. I'm just going to take a knockout with Despair Ray. Uh, discarding the Ratatash, and just a Ratatash is fine. He can license or anybody up, that's fine. We'll do 240 to the, act or to the active. Going down to four prize guards, but next turn we can license or bring up the Glaceon on the bench, take a knock on it, and then try to find a way to knock out this Glaceon. Actually, what we could do next turn, if he attacks, <clears throat> oh, which, okay, he's going to set up this guy. So I'm just going to rough seas, kill that guy, whatever. We can knock out this guy. We can do a really cool play next turn. Um, so he waters you that guy, okay. And this, okay, Ninja Boy. What is Ninja Boy going to get out? That's the question. Maybe a Regice? Um, yeah, Regice might be really good right now, so he can resist the Blizzard. Um, so we don't take, okay, and a Glalie. This man just Glalie me. Oh my goodness. But luckily Dragonite can take a knock on a Glaceon next turn. That's the plan. Um, we're going to license to bring the Glaceon. Touch a, we're going to attach a fair energy to Dragonite. Are you kidding me? Uh, take a knock on. There's a Shaman setting, uh, setting up. Dragonite's supposed to be MVP here, guys. But my opponent's supposed to an instant freeze for the knockout. To do 150 to our Gardevoir. Oh my goodness, I did not see this coming. You gotta expect everything, right? Okay. For another Ninja Boy, they've already played their supporter cards, so we're fine. My plan right now is a VS Seeker license the Glaceon, take a knock on it, Ultra Ball for maybe a Hoopa, and try to get another Mega Gardevoir set up. There is one in our deck, which is fantastic. All right, so uh, Glalie, hey, how you doing there? You're a Pokemon we don't really see that often. That's fantastic. So tr fighting for else, the active. If only he knew, he should be fighting for this Glaceon. Um, yeah, he should be protect he should be protecting this Glaceon. Now, even if he did that, we could grab a uh, Hoopa to grab the the Rattata, pop it. There's a Parallel City, putting us down to three. That's fine. We have Skyfield in our hand, so we don't care about that. Uh, that's his second parallel city. He probably plays three, but that's only we haven't played a Skyfield down yet, so that's good. This matchup is so weird. So ice breath, ice breath. Oh wait, we don't have the same amount of energies as him. Oh, same number of cards in our hand, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're solid. So we're going to Skyfield. Uh, fairy drop the active. Via Seeker for Lysander. Bring up that Glaceon. And I think we just spare it for 110. Yeah, we'll just. We, that's fine. We're not going to discard any Pokemon. That's okay. We'll do 110. Take it a knockout. Going down to two price cards. And I don't. Oh, man. I thought my opponent was going to take a knockout, but it seems like they made a huge. I don't know if that was a huge misplay or not. Uh, maybe he was looking for a way to refill his hand up. I don't know. So, going to save the Reg Ice onto our opponent's turn. We might see a Resistance Blizzard, but we don't care about that. We got we can Dragonite this turn. Okay, there's a Ninja Boy. Probably putting the Shaman in the deck, most likely, right? So, Shaman, put the Glalie out. I don't care about these. We can knock out either one of these. Actually, what I want to do is grab Dragonite, grab Hawlucha, and Rattata. Just look at our opponent and be like, what you going to do? All right, so Glaceon, Ultra Ball, discard two cards from his hand. Gonna grab probably the Shaman to try to end us down to two. This Gardevoir is gonna take six prize cards though. 
I believe in him. So Shaman set up for six. Can my opponent find energy to even use resistant blizzard? They could try to ice beam us to paralyze us. So Shaman setting up for six. Okay. Um, there's no way he's taking a knockout now. That figure drop healed that damage off, and we're good to go. Alright, so Shaman setting up for six. Water energy is active. And uh, train your smell. He is digging for this in, I imagine. No, he already ninja boyed, so he can't in. We're we're good. We won this game. Like, there's no way we can lose. He's probably gonna promote the Glalie when we use Halucha, but then we have Rat Attack. We can fill our bench up and take the game. Uh, fighting promotes of Red Eyes. Don't care about that. And yeah, we're gonna take this game for sure. There's nothing our opponent could do, even if they. Uh, even if they replace the stadium, we have a Skyflow in our hand. He goes for Via Secret for, uh, for in, but he's already played his Sporta Guard for that Ninja Boy. Try to put the Shaman back into his deck. Uh, there's a Spirit Link, so we will Hoopa. Use Scoundering, search for three EX Pokemon. We're going to grab just a Dragonite. I'm going to grab Dragonite and uh, Guardy, sure. Just to fill our bench up to do a maximum damage. So put those two cards in our hand. We'll put down the Dragonite. We use the ability to search for a Rattatat Halucha and just show these two cards to your opponent like I win. I'll uh, put down Halucha. Yes, I'll probably send the Glalie, but then we have Rattata and we have Guard of War and we can win the game uh, this turn. So here comes Glalie. We'll use Rattata. And you can see all these cards are so useful. Uh, pop that off, put down the Glalie or the Guardi, and we'll despair ray right for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 109 damage. Done to that Glalie, yes. And this one Mega Gardevoir took six price cards. Oh my goodness. And even though we were playing against a Reg Ice Glaceon deck, if my opponent had just not put down any Pokemon, they would have won this game. Uh, we have no Rager. We can't do anything. We can't. I mean, I guess we have Dragonite. As you saw, I was part of that Dragonite. He could have swung that turn. Uh, just 130 to a shaman if i wanted to do that but there you go guys there is the mega gardevoir deck this game is fantastic it shows like off the halucha the ratata how good how good the deck is even if you have one guardy prize but guys hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you have a great day Alrighty, bye all right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye.